Hi, my name is Alex and I'm one of the second year fellows. I wanna welcome you to a day in the life of a Duke Nephrology Fellow. We wanna give you a taste of what life is like in Durham and Duke. I just woke up and it's about 6 a.m. I'm feeling pretty refreshed this morning since I got a full night of sleep. We don't have call here, which means no nighttime patients. I'm on the acute ICU service right now. While I have my breakfast, I briefly pre-chart on my patients on my phone before leaving. I live in an apartment complex right across the street from Duke, and it takes me about 10 minutes door to door to get there. I try to be at work around seven or so, and I always stop to get a cup of Starbucks coffee on the first floor at the hospital before heading up to the dialysis unit. Now that I have my coffee, let me tell you more about the acute ICU service. This service is an interprofessional team. Our PA manages the cardiothoracic ICU, and I manage the medical, surgical, neuro, and cardiac ICUs. While my attending rounds with our PA in the CT ICU, I pre-round on my patients in the other four ICUs. Sometimes I have med students and residents with me as well. We do a lot of CRT. We have 32 machines and often have a majority of these in use. Oh, that's Solomia. She's letting me know that she's sending in a patient from one of our outpatient dialysis units. Hello, my name is Solomia. I will be serving as a chief fellow this year. As a second year fellow, we spend time caring for outpatients with ESKD in one of 11 local dialysis units that our faculty directs. We have a comprehensive curriculum that covers all aspects of HD rounding, and this is directed by our associate program director, Dr. Harpreet Singh. As a clinical fellow, I have an opportunity to choose a clinical concentration as well as spend time working on a QI or a research project. I am focusing on home dialysis modalities. This is on top of the exposure everyone gets to home HD and PD in the second year with our clinical chief, Dr. Larrick, who is an expert in home dialysis. We see a lot of these patients in the hospital as well during our first year. In fact, Cassidy has one of my PD patients with peritonitis on the floor service right now. Hello, my name is Cassidy. I'm on the floor service right now where we typically care for around 20 consult patients for a wide variety of things, from AKI to glomerulonephritis, and we also manage to hospitalize PD patients. Fortunately, ICU and HD patients are cared for by other fellows and APPs, which gives me more time to think through the more complex questions and problems I'll see on the floor service. Here I have a perfect balance between autonomy and support from the attendings. This is also the service where you will do most of your native kidney biopsies. Rounding time is flexible on the floor, but on Wednesdays I usually try to get most of my work done before noon conference. Noon conference is great because I get to see all my co-fellows and get some food in a low-key environment. We have conferences once to twice a week throughout the year covering all the important topics. Oh, hey Anna. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm on the VA consult service right now, but since the VA is right across the street, I can still participate in all the conferences at Duke. Working at the VA gives you a more bread and butter nephrology experience, caring for all kinds of patients at once, including transplant, ESRD, ICU, and floor patients. With all that said, there's usually a lower census here. There's a great team here too, with dialysis nurses, APPs, social work, all working together every day for both inpatients and outpatients. I also enjoy the fellow workroom that has a window. Anika is here with me today, finishing up some of her VA clinic notes. Hi, I'm Anika, and I'm one of the research fellows. My research focus is on women's health and disparities in nephrology. I'm currently evaluating the impacts of kidney function on adverse pregnancy outcomes and long-term kidney outcomes in pregnant women with lupus. This year, I was named a fellow in the American Kidney Fund's Clinical Sciences and Nephrology program, which supports my research. During my first year fellowship, I met with different faculty members about potential projects. We are very fortunate to have strong mentorship at Duke. I meet with my primary mentor on a weekly basis, in addition to having a mentorship committee composed of a multidisciplinary group of both basic scientists and clinical researchers. My mentorship committee meets several times a year to provide feedback on current projects and career development. Duke also offers additional mentorship programs. I'm participating in the Office of Physician Scientist Development, OPSD program, which provides me with additional one-to-one -one mentorship, as well as programs centered on professional development and grant funding. I have been nurtured both on a professional and personal level at Duke. Through the support of our fellowship program leadership, I served as an intern on ASN's Diversity and Inclusion Committee, working towards equity and inclusion. I'm currently pursuing a master's in health science as part of the clinical training and research program. I have taken classes on how to perform statistical analysis and study design. 
But most importantly, I'm able to apply what I've learned on a daily basis. Hi, I'm Irma. I'm one of the research fellows pursuing my interest in transplant immunology. And my current research is aimed towards discovering the role of macrophages in ischemic reperfusion injury and rejection of kidney allopaths. This year, I was awarded the ASN Ben Lips Fellowship Award that supports my research. This was only made possible with the mentorship of Dr. Luo and the unwavering support of the division. Almost all the nephrology division labs are here at MSRB2. Our shared resources and the opportunity to learn from each other makes it an excellent environment to work. Although the world of transplant immunology is complex, I have been able to overcome challenges with the help of courses I have access to through the Duke Clinical Research Institute. Beyond academic opportunities, the Office of Physician Scientist Development offers various grants and support to trainees to enhance their research pursuits. I have been inducted into the Lefkowitz Society, which nurtures trainees and provides networking opportunities for aspiring physician scientists such as myself. I'm Susan, and I'm currently on an outpatient block. First year fellows typically have three two week blocks of outpatient immersion. This is an opportunity to spend time in various outpatient clinics like kidney stones, transplant, and vascular access. And the schedule can be tailored to your interests. Our journal clubs and grand rounds are scheduled during outpatient immersion, so we have plenty of time to work on them. We also have time to meet potential mentors, and most importantly, weekends are off. I have my Duke Continuity Clinic this afternoon with Dr. Derek. We have a half day clinic every week that alternates between the VA and Duke. At both places, we have our own patient panel and a consistent preceptor. My patients definitely view me as their primary nephrologist. Ray is currently over on night float. Let's see what he's up to tonight. Hello, I'm Ray. This week, I'm the night float fellow. I come in at 5 p.m. and cover all of the services and field new consults until 7 a.m. We get two nights off a week during this one to two week rotation. The other two nights are covered by an attending and a moonlighting fellow we can take advantage of as second years. There is also an on-call attending available every night to provide support whenever I need it. There is often enough downtime to get a few hours of sleep as well. Great to give my co-fellows the opportunity to get home and get some uninterrupted rest, knowing that next week, when I'm back on days, I'll get the same. Thanks, Ray. Now that I've wrapped up my work here, I'm going to meet some of my co-fellows and their partners for dinner in downtown Durham. I've learned a lot about Durham this year. Taking care of patients in the hospital and seeing them in clinic has given me an appreciation for the diverse population we serve. We also try to enhance the care of our community by collaborating with other nephrologists in the research triangle through the NKF. There's a lot to do in the triangle area. You can watch a minor league baseball game, professional hockey, college basketball is huge, or take a day to visit the Sarah P. Duke Garden. Durham is a few hours from the beach and the mountains, and the downtown scene is fun and happening. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the Duke Nefro life. We work hard, we play hard, and we take care of each other. I hope to see you as a fellow at Duke next year.